Hello there, Internet. Mark White here, and I got another video for you guys today. Today, we're gonna try to make Grixis great again, or die tilting. As we got Barbecue Wings, a new deck list that I uh, brewed up after the Twitch Rivals event, in which I participated with a Rakdos mid range build. Uh, I took my experience throughout, you know, the past few weeks where I've been laddering a lot with Esper midrange and then I switched over to Rakdos midrange. I took a, a, a good look at the metagame and I tried to go to Grixis by mixing both archetypes and taking out what I feel were the most impactful and uh, meta combatant, I guess I'm going to use that term, cards. Cards that I feel can react really well to what we're facing as of now as both Esper midrange and Rakdos have certain cards that really stood out for me. When it comes to Esper midrange, I think uh, Thought Erasure and Thief of Sanity alongside Hashi Staker were the big key cards, especially in the Soul Tie midrange matchup. We're in a metagame right now that is highly defined by Testicle Snack, aka Hydroid Crassus. So one of the best ways to deal with Hydroid Crassus is discarding it. <laughs> it's as simple as that. It's just, it's such a good card that the best answer for it is to take it away from the hand before they can play it's preventing the opponent from being able to cast it right another good answer to it is hashi staker because once you play hashi staker and you steal a hydroid crassus if hashi staker is taken down hydroid crassus will return to the board as a zero zero and thus will die so hashi staker kind of takes the role of a ravenous chupacabra versus a uh, hydroid crassus that if left unanswered can enable you to cast your own uh you know snake as well which is incredibly powerful and i think one of the reasons why we're seeing a lot of usage in hashi staker in this current uh, iteration of standard on, on top of that we have uh, copies of Reta uh, rekindling phoenix alongside lava coil a bunch of removal and what seems to be kind of a it's hard to label this deck. It's kind of like a mixture of mid-range and control. It's a Grixis build that tries to... Uh, it's a very reactive build, first of all, that tries to really counter the metagame, right? We have a one-off of Nico Bolas. We have a Raul IZ Viceroy as our Planeswalker alongside Eldest Reborn. We have a one-off of Carnival for the more faster matchups and a card that I like because it can enable you to combat uh, Mono Blue Tempo's turn one plays while also not being completely useless in other matchups because you can use carnage in said matchups right even though it's not really that good against soul time mid-range and then we have ritual of suit because it's very very powerful against both mono blue and soul time mid-range if you want to build a deck that adapts well to the current version of standard you have to you know learn that mono blue tempo and soul time mid-range are the most popular and powerful decks running around as of now so if your deck can handle both of them in theory you have a very competitive uh deck which is what uh, i was aiming for with this sort of build having uh all this said i'm going to go ahead and you know say that i think this uh grixis deck can be optimized for a much better build uh, i feel like there's a lot of cards that are rather suspect i'm not too sure about the rekindling phoenix even though it's a very very important component of the rack those mid-range deck i don't think this deck applies enough pressure to justify rekindling phoenix because yes it's a harder it's a hard unit uh, to remove and yes technically it can win you the game on its own but when you don't have enough early game pressure like a rack those deck does you know with the plethora of two drops and three drops that apply damage early on in the match in this case we only have a thief of sanity then it turns out this, this bird is hard to kill but it's also very slow at killing your opponent at the same time so in matchups against nexus of fate uh, they don't really care about this thing because it takes way too long for you to kill them before they start looping infinitely right so i uh, have to go back to the drawing board with a lot of things uh, with this build i actually think angrath is potentially better than Rao, even though i like uh, the, the idea Idea of Rao a lot in this deck. Uh, Angrath being uh, one of the other, you know, few counters, quote unquote, to uh, Hydroid Crassus is also very key because Angrath enables you to uh, steal Hydroid Crassus. And uh, because Hydroid Crassus is technically less than uh, three converted mana cost, it will be sacrificed after you go for the minus three uh, this, uh, loyal ability for Angrath here. So what I'm trying to say uh, with all this is that I feel like this is far from the final version of Grixis, and uh, it's, a, you know, it's an ongoing thing, trying to figure out, you know, what the best version of this three-color combination can be uh, 
you know, the most efficient for what we're facing at the top end of the Mythic Ladder. I found this deck to be incredibly successful versus Drake's deck. Uh, deck, sorry. And uh, I found mixed results versus Soul Time Midrange, to be honest. I, I think on paper we have all the answers, but at the same time, we have to draw into the answers. And if they curve out themselves, when you have a strategy in, in Magic the Gathering, if your strategy doesn't really care what your opponent does, it's more about playing your stuff and, you know, having your own combos and cards just curve out well, while you're playing, on the other hand, a deck that tries to stop that from happening, more often than not, the strategy doesn't, doesn't care about what the opponent is doing is going to be more consistent and more threatening. And that is kind of the wall that we've hit a bit with this sort of build. Uh, I haven't really gotten a win rate versus soul time mid range that I'm happy with. And uh, like I said, there's a lot of things that I can uh, focus on trying to improve. But this is the first version of Grixis, which is an... Uh, like I said, a tricolor combination that I'm going to be tackling a lot because I do believe the potential is there. And I do believe that this can become a very competitive answer for the current uh, standard metagame that we are facing. We have a sideboard mostly geared towards uh, control with the rest, negates, search for scantas, and uh, legion war bosses, but also uh, an extra hostage taker for the soul time mid range matchup, and uh, two fungal infections for more mono blue and aggro focused matchups, alongside triple copy of Cryer the Carnarium, which serves the same purpose overall. And uh, that is the deck list right there. So I'm going to showcase off a couple of best of three series that I had at the very high end of uh, Mythic rank. I had a very long stream with this uh, deck, so you can check out my Twitch VOD. I won a lot of games, and I lost a lot of games. I tilted, I recuperated, I switched to some Selenia tokens in the meanwhile. Like, it was a long stream, a lot of things happened, and I'm not going to say that this was a deck that did, you know, amazing, right? It, it won. I, I think it has a lot of potential, but it also had quite a few flaws. And I'm talking from the high end of competitiveness, right? Like, from a fun uh, standpoint, I always have fun playing uh, anything that has a Denier backbone and enables me to play Thought Erasure and Thief of Sanity, you know, just cards that I really love, and, and Hostage Taker as well. But I'm going to try to make this more and more competitive, and it's definitely an archetype that I'm going to be dwelling a lot into the near future, especially since I am still trying to get that top 8 spot for the Mythic Invitational, right? And it's easier said than done, but... Uh, it's a blast, you know, I'm, I'm actually really enjoying this uh, dive that I'm taking into competitive magic. It's uh, very rewarding, it's thrilling, and uh, it has its ups and downs, but it is quite the joy as a journey. And I guess I'm going to end the ramble at that. Thank you guys for watching, stay tuned for daily MTG content. Have a soul day, I'll see you tomorrow with more. But if I, if I draw horribly, I just draw horribly, there's not much more to it. So it seems we're facing uh, Gate, maybe Nexus. Yeah, definitely Nexus. You gotta play Rao and uh, yeah, <laughs> hope that he doesn't just infinite loop us here.
killing me. I gotta count on the right thing. wisely because the other one's going bye bye I mean, it's hard to believe that with only one counter, we're going to be able to stop him at this point. Like, he's got too much of his engine going on. Okay. We can't do it again because it'll just nexus us.
Yeah. I mean, wouldn't wouldn't you just hold? Wouldn't you just try to kill me with the explosion here? Too late for this. All right. I mean, this is not a matchup we should lose. Like, we have the answers for it I don't dislike the hostage taker though I do like the legion war boss I guess I can drop down one of them though. Alright, let's go with this. Take out Eldest? I I disagree, like I mean I, it it may be it may be bad honestly. But it's still better than than Ross's contempt in my opinion. Especially because they can they can uh, t tech in some goats. Okay, we gotta we gotta search for a scanton curve. What we don't have is duresses nor thought erasures, which is what generally we want and negates. But search for a scanton curve is pretty damn good. No the gold with the with the raid. Thank you so much, man. Send that to the graveyard. Let's try to draw into yeah some key. Uh... We need we need our counter spells here. Thank you for the raid, buddy. We're trying to. Uh... Hmm. Let's send you to the graveyard. Let, let's try to curve out properly. All right, I like that negate. But for now, I am gonna play Nico Bolus. Trying to apply some pressure. This this warrants an answer out of him. I mean, it doesn't warrant one, but we keep that there. We we can't ever have too many negates in this matchup, so we will sacrifice a land drop for that. We'll just we'll try to kill him with nickel here with good old Nick we just need a creature and then a bunch of counter spells that's generally like that's pretty much all we need
denied. I think we keep it like it is. I do like the Eldest Reborns, though. Maybe they're a little bit slow, but for matchups in which things drag out, maybe I could have another Hasha Staker since he is still playing those things. Yeah, maybe this is better. I played some Grix and honestly, don't uh, don't feel like uh, you flipped Nicol Bolas that much. Yeah, that's why I run him as a one-off. I think running multiple copies of Nicol Bolas really isn't. He's good, like overall for games that drag out, but generally speaking. All right, so we got we got a uh, thought erasure into Legion War Boss. I need more lands. There we go. Is this smart to keep this? I technically get to discard. Nah. Let's take it. I'm gonna keep it. Oh, 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 Take your turn, motherfucker. Oh, <laughs> out of my sight. Oh, nice. All right, honey. Honey, I think this is uh, the Grand Prix winner. We're going to play first. If we find a land, we're golden here. But the problem is we have no initial plays and we have no blue mana. We got to mulligan this. Oh, my God. Well, that just sucks. All right, so he's playing Drake's. I don't dislike the Hashi Staker, but then again, in this matchup, is not the most important thing. He's also quite uh, mana full here. Oh man! If we play Thief of Sanity, it just it just trades with a shock, so it's ultimately just not worth it.
As much as this is the sort of card that helps us. We're definitely taking out the thieves here. Our opponent has quite the lead on us, but we can we can build up uh, back from this. I wanted to play one thief to, to get that out of him. Just gonna trade with that Chuck. I may get the Eldest Reborn in so I can uh, bring back Ral. And we bring it back after two mulligans, boy. That's how you do it. We definitely keep the Lava Coils for the Arc Light Phoenix. Uh, we do want the another, another copy of Eldest Reborn. Eldest Reborn is very, very powerful in this matchup. What else? How many counter spells is he actually playing, though? Yeah, we, we want Cry of the Carnarium for sure as well. Over over the Ritual of Suit, maybe we can drop one of them. I mean, Rekindle the Phoenix is also very good, but at the same time... Uh, this is a tough one. I think we can drop the Carnival Carnage, to be honest. I think Negate is fine as a two of... I do like the dresses though. I also do like Escanta in this one. I, I don't like the Thief of Sanities in this matchup. We definitely take him out. We definitely want the Phoenix. We definitely want the uh, the Hostage Taker is also pretty damn good. Ritual of Suit doesn't really do that much. Like I can have it as a one-off because it kills the Drix. I mean it, it puts in some work but... Yeah, I think I'm better off with Crowd the Carnarium. And uh, maybe another Negate. Honestly, I think Duress is just so good in this matchup. Why not have three of... Let's go with this. I'm going to keep this hand. It's very land heavy, but but we do have a thought erasure. Jesus Christ! There is a spell peers that chart a course. The viceroy. All these are threats. The crackling Drake. Ah, this is just so much card draw, though take that away I'm getting flooded here though son I 
I can't cry the Carnarium. Not until we bypass Spell Pierce. I derp big that oh no. I derp big time. I derp big time. I forgot about this thing enabling the uh I should have I should have taken the negate. I should have taken the negate. Maybe I cry the carnarium here? Okay. wisely cuz the other one's going bye bye was unpleasant. The search for the unknown. That's real science. Get something good. Uh, 
scale's broken. Okay. What if he has another phoenix? I'm just gonna counter his card draw and whatever he has in hand, he has it. Good stuff. Come on. Breathe through it. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. GG. Got him. Oh boy. Nice.